Um, so, I mean, if you don't like little middle thingies in vlogs, this is the vlog for you also. Spoilers. Hi, hey, hello, welcome uh, to a reading vlog. Um, so. Actually, before I start, I'm gonna get the first book. The Cruel Prince. So, I read The Cruel Prince by Holly Black um, last year. So I finished it on New Year's Eve. And I did really like it, however, I didn't find it like life-changing kind of a deal, but I did really enjoy the plot and the thingamajing with it all. So if you don't know, in The Cruel Prince we follow Jude, and Jude um, and her twin sister and like her older half-sister, I suppose, um, they've all been raised in fairy by the man that murdered their parents. Yeah, so that's exactly where this book starts off. So like in the first chapter, this dude, what is his name? Maddox or something like that. I, I forget names. Um, He goes and bloody murders the mum and dad of the kids. Um, Because apparently the mum was his human wife and the oldest daughter, daughter the oldest daughter is his daughter he's a legitimate child as it were so he's like you ran away from me i'm gonna kill you and your husband and then yeah yeah i'm just gonna take and raise your kids yeah that whole raising someone else's kids who you've murdered interesting um, I mean, there's kind of explanation in it, in that, that well, they they don't really have anyone else, and they're the sisters to his daughter, so it's like an obligation. It's very weird, but, you know, why not? Um, <laughs> so I really did enjoy it, however, not life-changing. Um, I don't think if I would have read it at a different point in time, it would have been life-changing, but uh, it's a very short book, so, I mean, it's it's a decent size, it's a short book, it's not Cassandra Clare, too many things happen in too many words, it's very, like, compact, and it's not like you're missing anything or anything like that, it's just to the point, yes. Um, so this is my first experience with Holly Black as well. So, that's that. Now, I haven't yet picked up the rest of the books. I mean, I own them, but the start of a year has been just a weird one and I haven't really felt like reading, so I haven't, you know, reached full books in that way. But now I'm gonna. So, my plan is to Yes, this is the order. So I'm going to read The Wicked King, which is book two, and then also pick up The Queen of Nothing, because, you know, and because I'm extra, I also have, like, the short story collection kind of a thing, The King of, uh, How the King of Elfame Learned to Hate Stories. Um, as far as I know, this is not, like, must read or recommended reading or any shape for me you you don't need really need to read it to get everything from the series does that make sense probably probably not um but them's the books i have <laughs> so yeah first i'm gonna start with this um which should be all right We'll see. I'll be right back. The lighting really is all over the place here. Um, so, updates. 
and definitely some spoilers so if you haven't read the series <laughs> um i might spoil you right now so at the end of the first book um the dude kind of um tricks Cardin into becoming king of fairies of the fairies and at the same time she kind of takes her little brother away from fairy and goes to live with um her older sister uh in the human world now in this one so in this one Cardin is king and Jude is controlling him, I suppose. <laughs> Here's the thing though, so her twin sister um, is about to get married and for the wedding they just like bring uh, the kid brother back and I was like well, weren't you actually hiding him from his dad? You know, the killer of your dad, originally? And it just seems like... Wasn't he supposed to be hidden away and not being, like, easily reachable? And yet, they seem to, like, just be able to go get him. And it's like, well, why isn't he just going to get the kid? Because he wants the kid so he can become king or something. I don't know. He wants to rule the world, basically. And it's like, um... Okay? Okay? Really? Really? Sure. Um... <laughs> that was, like, the big thing that I was so annoyed at. I was like, but didn't you take him away to protect him from his dad? Uh anyway, um, it was kind of a minor thing, but it was also like, it felt like such a big thing in The Cruel Prince that, um, what the freaking hell is the kid's name? Oak, that's his name. So, Oak, it was such a big thing that Oak needed to be protected from Maddock. Oh, names. Um, so I'm like, hi. Hey. Why? That that was a thing that annoyed me, yes. But we go through a lot in this book. Well, Jude goes through a lot, really. So she gets like, she, she's like ruling the fairies and nobody really knows. It's like, okay. <laughs> this little teenage kid, supposedly, I don't know how old she is. Uh, it's just ruling everyone like through a puppet that is Cardin. It's funny. It's funny and interesting. Yeah. Uh, but then she like gets kidnapped and... <sighs> so there's a twist. There's such a twist in the end of this book and I suppose since I'm kind of just spoiled Cruel Prince, I've, I'll spoil the end of this book too, so, you know, spoilers. <laughs> Jude and Cardin is like, they're like enemies, they like hate each other, supposedly, but then they're like, hook up, they get married, and then he banishes her from Fairyland. Yeah. That's, that's kind of how this book ends. It's interesting. It did really make me more excited to pick up book three, so, you know, I'm gonna be doing that now. Um, this is turning out to be a very <sighs> hectic evening for me. <sighs> right, right, right. On to book three. The Queen of Nothing. Yeah. 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 I, I keep forgetting to update, so 
you know. Right. I finished the Queen of Nothing. So there's lo loads of like back and forth uh, in this book and it's kind of fun. I enjoyed it. So <laughs> all in all, I mean this one I read previously but I finished it these horrible <laughs> I finished this, <laughs> these two, oh my god. Um, so I finished these two. So all in all for this series, it's, it's a good series. I, I can totally see why people like it so much. I can also see why people like hate on it. But all in all, it's a very good series. <laughs> Um, I, it's, it's definitely one I recommend, uh, if you want to read, like, more fairy stuff, or if you want to get into the world of fairies, although I will say that you don't get, you don't necessarily get a lot of information as far as how, like, fairies work, and, you know, all that, they can't lie, and, uh, they have, well, and the, these ones, they have, like, some have tails, some have horns. They're very different. I mean, we're all different as far as people go. Um, <laughs> I did really, really enjoy the series, so highly rated. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I also read this one. This took me about an hour to read, so I mean, if uh, you just want a quick read, uh, you haven't read it, this already and you've read the Cruel Prince series. It's not called the Cruel Prince series, but I'm calling it that now. Um, I do recommend reading it. It's not one that you need to have read to like get more information, because you don't really get more information as far as the characters and stuff. You do just follow Carden, so you get like his point of view of some scenes, I suppose, but mostly it's just like him growing up and yeah. Um, so you like see him before the Cruel Prince series and then like just after um so that's basically what it is it's some very very short stories that not one that you need to read but let's see if I you get like loads of um very cool graphics and stuff um throughout so it's very beautifully done super easy to read. I mean, it took me less than an hour to read, so, <laughs> you know. Um, but also, this means I've read, uh, well, not four books, but three books, and I forgot to do anything but update you after the books were read, so, terrible vlogger! <laughs> um, but, you know, that happens sometimes, I suppose! Um, so, I mean, if you don't like little middle thingies and vlogs, this is the vlog for you. Also, spoilers. So, basically, failed as a vlogger, because I didn't update, and I just spoiled a lot. <laughs> but, you know, that can happen. Yeah. So, <sighs> let's see how other vlogs go, because... This was kind of a failure at vlogging, but also I did read three books, so I'm going to take that as a win. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, uh, so I'll see you all next time. Oh, bye-bye.